shadow of Kobe Bryant loomed large over the Grammys in Los Angeles. Away from the tributes to the sportsman, 18-year-old Billie Eilish took home the biggest awards of the night. Uh, talk us through all this, Sky's Arsenal Entertainment correspondent Lucy Cotter, who joins us uh, from central London. See, Lucy, welcome to you, Billie Eilish, and her brother, actually. <laughs> Yes, that's absolutely right. Um, Billie Eilish um, swept the board last night. I mean, five awards. Absolutely incredible. And, and she's sort of the woman of the moment, isn't she? Um, she's just been announced as behind um, the next Bond tune. But she won the big four at the Grammys last night. Um, that was a song, record, album and best new artist. And she's the first person to do that since 1981, which is incredible, isn't it? And she also won album of the year uh, at just age 18 and she's now the youngest ever a uh, recipient of that award taking over from taylor swift um, her brother produced the album they made it at home um, on the red carpet earlier in the evening she talks about feeling like an imposter um, and throughout the night uh, after each um, when they went up to pick up all these awards they were both surprised and completely shocked um, here's billy eilish picking up the album of the year and the grammy goes to John Greenham, Rob Kanelsky, and Phineas O'Connell. Songwriters, Billie Eilish O'Connell and Phineas O'Connell. Please sit down. Um, can I just say that I think Ariana deserves this? I love you so much. Um, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm really not. I love you. Thank you for this. So Billie Eilish picked up five awards. It was her evening last night. Um, but the whole award ceremony was definitely muted. There were so many tributes to the star um, Kobe Bryant. Um, the Grammys were held in the Staples Center, which is home to the Lakers, where he played for over 20 years. Uh, during the ceremony, um, his jersey numbers were beamed up uh, into the sky. Um, and the host of the evening, Alicia Keys, opened the evening with a very moving tribute. We're all feeling crazy sadness right now. Uh, but this year's Grammys have also been marred by quite a bit of controversy. Um, the CEO, Deborah Dugan, has recently been accused of bullying and has been suspended. She's only been in the position for about five months. Uh, she has since retaliated and said that um, she'd been suspended for exposing a boys' club atmosphere and rigged nomination processes. Um, she's the first woman to have held this CEO post ever, and her appointment was seen as a kind of progressive way of tackling diversity or the lack of it in in the Grammys and the music industry. Um, between 2000 and 2018, 90% of the Grammys honors have gone to men. Um, and Dua Lipa, who got the uh, Best New Artist Award last year, was presenting uh, the award to Billie Eilish last night. Um, and she touched on the fact, um, the lack of diversity and the lack of women in the music industry. I have to take this opportunity to say that there are so many stellar female producers, artists, songwriters, engineers. Bye, yeah. And if you're in the business and you're hiring, yes. raise your sights to the amazing, talented women out there because yes. we all deserve a seat at every table. There are Dua Lipa talking about the need for more women in the music industry and um, a woman, Billie Eilish, was the big winner of the, of the night. Lucy, thanks very much. This is my news today, coming up 75 years after the liberation of Auschwitz. We're going to be joined by Mindy Weissel, whose parents...